Yo, what's good? Let's check out episodes 19 and 20 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. Book review. Now you can follow my socials, and if you want to check out other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist. Shout out to our amazing patrons that are getting access to the full-length reactions of all of the anime I watch seasonally. And if you would like to join in, you can click the link down in the description to become a patron. And if you're interested in more exclusive reactions that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while for series much like the ones you see on your screen now, we've got a tier for that. Previously in Bookworm, what we saw was the stuff within the, the temple itself and specifically with the orphan side of things where mine has taken on the role of being in charge of them, you know, uh, taking care of them, making sure that they get what they need. And she's bringing them into the mine studio so that way they can work and like she can benefit from it and then they can benefit from that because if they work then they can earn whatever you know money or some sort of compensation so that way they can be taken care of that way they are doing something they are learning and earning though the high priest probably doesn't agree the head priest we're about to move into a very interesting area I think that by the end of the season, we're going to see that moment that we saw from the very beginning of the entire series where the head priest was checking on like the past memories of mine. I think we're going to see that by the end of the season. I thought we were going to see it by the end of the first season. If we don't see it by the end of the season, I'm going to stop talking about it because like, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen, but I really do think it's going to happen by the end of this season. With all that said, let's jump into it. Kids are all malnourished. No one takes care of them pretty it's pretty sad obviously what do you mean obviously like we're supposed to know that <laughs> talk to me in a language I can understand stop speaking book very weird <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. You thought it was, but in reality, he likes it. You just don't get you. Like, you're weird. Yay. Take care of the kids. Imagine being taken care of another by another kid. <laughs> kind of funny. Yo, she was so set for this world, like, having that life she had previously where her mom like taught her a bunch of stuff like damn bro i'm fucked i'd probably be like a math genius though not gonna lie i'd probably be incredibly good at math in like a fantasy world then they all look like they had some health concerns what the hell oh gil gil was looking out man damn Oh, okay, okay, cool. We like you, Gil. I used to think you were a little shithead, Gil, but you're great. Uh, you're definitely crying. Aw. That's gonna be some foreshadowing right there. Shitseria. Sounds weird. Where do the names come from, dude? So shut your fucking mouths, you little shits. Yo, I think that they might beat up the, the, the good ones. I'm worried about that, man. And you got these kids with knives and shit, dude? Oh, that kid's gonna lose a fucking fingy, dude. Oh, I'm so worried about him. That one kid, man. I don't know what's up with them, dude. Sus, though. It's, it's great, though. She's teaching them to grow up. It's good. Yeah, but she's a beyond a commoner. Oh, he's teaching them about the type of sticks that they need to get. Oh, interesting. Aw, what, because it's strawberries? 
Dang, these kids went all out, bro. They doing everything. What are the gifts? Ah. Uh. Pretty cool. They'll never be on that level. I'm gonna keep it a buck. They'll never be on that level. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Every time she comes up with just like a simple thing, boom. It's a fucking profitable idea. I love it. Oh. Hmm. Playing with water. What the fuck? They throw fruit at couples? People are gonna be throwing fruit at a fucking loots in mine. Good job. Oh damn. Never mind. Hmm. Oh shit. Mm. Look at her. Hey! Alright, well you stay in the orphanage? Easy. Boom. What's the Tao fruit? What is that? Is these little guys? Kind of look like big ass apples. Or I guess not big ass apples, but you know, normal sized apples. But I imagine they're not an apple. You're not throwing an apple at somebody. That's gotta fucking hurt. It's gotta be more like a... A berry or a fucking tomato. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Eh. <laughs> She's learning though, man. She's becoming more, you know? She's learning the ways. Oh, those are definitely tomatoes. No. Mine. What are you doing? What are you doing, mine? Ew. Damn. What the fuck is that? Oh, it was a fake. Man, she should have tossed it like, you know, she fucking yeeted that shit. It bounced and broke into pieces. You would have just, yeep. That would have been better. Start slaying. Mmm. Dang, somebody got nailed in the face. They have one kid too. No, a tromble's down there. Oh, she's sick, no. Bro, I think that there's a tromble underneath that little thingy. They should have checked underneath it, dude. Damn. Damn. Damn, that's like solitary confinement. What is this? Spending the whole day just... Oh, no. Damn. Next. He could probably afford to live on his own, right? I'm just saying, he could probably afford to live on his own. Man's got money, right? He's probably richer than anybody else in his family. He'd at least, like, live at the studio if necessary, right? I don't know, like, the actual, like, laws and requirements on stuff like that, but I'm just saying. Probably not in the worst situation ever. You should not be getting up. What are you doing? Oh my god. You're causing his him trouble with your crap, you little shit. 
Damn, dude. Oh my god, dude. It's so... Ah. I hate seeing this shit, man. It's so weird that he just, like, fucking just shows up at his... Yo, how has Benno not addressed this situation? Benno needs to... Stop it! No! Fucking weirdos, dude. They're causing fucking bad business for them. Yeah. I don't blame him. Dude, how can he not just, like, move out or some shit? Oh, Lutz, don't be a baby. Oh, shit. No, he's not in the wrong here. They don't give a shit about, about what he wants. A good parent cares what their their child wants same with siblings they should care what he wants mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good mind she said lean on me when you're not strong <laughs> True. She's super weak. Ask her what's going on. She's out of room. Obviously. Uh, I I need to erase this and, and start writing again from the top. <laughs> That's funny. Listen, you're slowing up the work, okay? So I think it is his concern. That's what I said. Mm. I, I like the I like the, the the head priest man. He's cool. There's so many things here to take into account. Hey, you could be his guardian, mine. <laughs> it's really something you need to present to him. You need to tell him about it. Oh, shit. I feel like it kind of is. It, it kind of is becoming a big deal. I'm just saying, a little bit. This is wild, man. Lutz... But listen, man, Lutz, he he has, like, aspirations. There are things that he wants to do, and his family is entirely against everything that he wants to do, which is fucking bullshit, man. Mama cares. It's Papa that's the dickhead. Oh, that's kind of cool, dude. It's like a little radio. <laughs> Telling me to shut up and watch. <laughs> I love it. Yes, but that's like a meddling thing. You can't have that. Oh, I literally said the word metal. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, dude, I'm so in tune with this story. Oh, my God, dude. Look at that. This is some fucking bullshit. What do you mean? This man's making hella money. He's probably richer than you, motherfucker. Oh my god, dude. I don't want to let him go. Mm. That's the reason. He's trying to train him more. Show him the robes. Damn.
What do you mean? What benefits you? I don't know what the fuck's happening. But when he wants to do something, you tell him he shouldn't... What? But you're being assholes. Like, what? Couldn't control himself. He wants to do something. You told him no. Even though this thing that he would be doing would benefit this apprenticeship that... What? Do what you want. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know. I still don't like the dad, dude. The dad's like this, uh, I don't know. It's like this, uh, prototypical, like, alpha male vibe and, nah, nah. It's gonna tell him to stop crying. The first time he smiles. See, look, stop crying. Ugh, I don't know. It, was this supposed to be wholesome? That's it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I think he wishes he had a kid. <gasps> oh, maybe he lost a kid or something. Oh, dude, I want to know about the head priest's background, man. That's interesting. Yeah, uh, living, it's pretty, it's a pretty, pretty big, uh, reason for doing things, you know, living's a good thing to do. Uh -huh. I still don't understand why they didn't let him go. If they, like, really were, like, down with what he's doing, like, hey, do whatever you want, and then he's like, hey, I want to do this thing, and they're like, no, you can't do that thing, like, what? I don't get it. Damn, that's her third papa. She got so, I guess her fourth papa, right? Like, first papa's obviously her papa. Oh, and then she's got her papa from her old world. Dang, dude, she's got so many, like, father figures. <gasps> Ferdinand. Wait, 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 I actually want to go back. Can I take a look at that? Does it only say Ferdinand on it? Or does it say, like, a full name? It's cute. Ah, and you gotta love the artworks at the end. So good, such good artwork. All right, so we can talk about this episode a little bit here. Yeah, this was a good one. This was a really enjoyable episode, seeing what exactly unfold. Like first part was uh, specifically dealing with the orphanage and a an event that occurs, um, like a like a festival. Yeah, I think mine learns a little bit in the ways of responsibility. Oh, she also introduces the orphans to her concept of you know, you do the work, you earn a reward. And so that was great too. And we can see how the how the orphans begin to like really try to do more so that way they can earn. And that's a really good concept to introduce them to because these orphans, they don't have much going for them. So if you are if you are presenting this to them, they can learn to be hardworking because they know that being hardworking has its, um, uh, you know, ha has its rewards. I wanted to find another word for reward, but you know, whatever. Anyways, yeah, it was a good episode, uh, that one specifically, and I think that mine learned a bit there. Also, I think the headmaster learned a little bit there because the headmaster threw her into like a solitary confinement thing where she developed a fever. And so he's learned like, okay, she's she's like really weak. Like I, I can't just simply do whatever because it's, it's not that easy. And this most recent episode, episode 20, we see mine, <sighs> Metal in the affair in Lutz's affairs. Like Lutz has an issue with his family, and the the issue we've seen it developed o over the course of all of these twenty episodes, where Lutz wants to do something, 
his family doesn't know anything about the thing he wants to do. Like they don't understand what he wants to do. And so they're like, no, don't do that. Do this because this is something I know. This is something I uh, can help you with. This is something that I can provide and like something to you if you do like so. Um, I think that that is the main reason why they're, you know, acting that way. I think it's because they know that they can help him if he goes into craftsmanship. They know that when he does something, they'll know what he's doing. You know, it's not like some weird uh, um, foreign thing to them where they just don't understand the concepts. And I think that's the main thing. That was like their big issue. And so in this in this episode though, in episode 20, he wants to do a thing that it has relation that's related to the merchant's apprenticeship, but they see it as dangerous. And that's because they don't understand it fully. And that's partially on Lutz because he didn't explain things properly to them, but also it's partially on them for not trying to learn more about it and understand more. I think by the end of it, they do understand it a little bit more. You know, they, they are taking into account a few more things and they're not just like, oh no, you can't do that. I think they're, go they're going to try to understand what he does a little bit more so that way they can make decisions as his parents like allowing him to go visit another town and stuff. I hope he does actually go visit that other town. I think that by the end of this, they were okay with that because he's going in a carriage and stuff. I don't know. I, I don't like the vibe of the father. The father is like a very like um, alpha male patriarchy dominant sort of figure where he's like, what I say goes and you listen to me and obey me. I never liked that type of vibe. I think that it's not a good way to, to, to deal with people, you know, thinking that you are the one. It, like I understand in negotiation, positions sure but trying to understand your kid that you're raising is a big deal you should definitely be trying to understand them and not just say no you can't do that yes you can do that try to explain to them like why you think this is a bad idea or why you think this is a good idea but we also see that the father isn't really so good with words you know he he doesn't say too much throughout this thing yeah overall good episode though and, and i think that mine also realizes here that other people's problems are are not things that she should just be taking on she shouldn't be taking on other people's problems because she doesn't fully understand their problems but i think that she can get to a point where she does understand them and that would be that'd be nice with all that said i would love to know what you all thought about these two episodes down in the comments below how'd you feel about the reaction and everything overall was there something that maybe i should have picked up on that i didn't anyways um i would just love to know what you all thought about these episodes down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime themed content since that's what we make on the channel and until next time Make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.